Hey folks, how are you out there? Triathlon freak again uh, with another uh, video I decided to do on uh, most common mistakes made by triathletes and I actually had to write them down because I don't uh, remember all of them uh, sometimes so uh, let's start with the first one the first one would be uh, not enough base actually that means that uh, you know you need to run a lot in zone 2 zone 3 not only run of course also bike or swim because these are the zones where you need to develop your technique and uh, your endurance and uh, if you don't spend enough time in these zones then you know you might not you know develop your speed you not you might not develop your technique and you not might not uh, get uh, better results or faster results all right let's go for the second point the second point would be set goals um, high it means shooting for the stars some people believe if you shoot for the stars then you land on the moon uh, it works for some people but it might not work very well for, for other people so uh, it might help if you just uh, have uh, you know smaller goals maybe just uh, you know setting a time you can actually uh, reach uh, something like that and once you reach your time then you you will be that that much more motivated and uh, you know kind of kind of happier about yourself and about your achievement so uh, if you let's say if you if you run marathons uh, like I do I do I also run I uh, not I don't do just triathlons and uh, sometimes I go for like uh, or I used to go for a uh, three hours uh, marathon time and I actually never accomplished that so uh, you know so that's 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 something uh, something that is out of my reach at the moment and I'm going to reach that uh, that uh, time but uh, you know uh, I was disappointed in the in the in the past so that's that's another point uh, you know to, to think about another thing would be um, uh, let me see not having a purpose right uh, if you don't have a purpose for your training unit it's that much difficult to to reach any goal you know if you don't have a goal there is nothing to go for so for each training unit it's good if you know what you are actually training for you might train for technique you might train for endurance you might take for uh, you might you might train for um, um, I don't know you know whatever you train for so uh, you need to know what you train for at at the moment all right, let's go for the next one. Too much hard workout uh, or too many wor hard workouts. You should go fresh for each training unit. You shouldn't be tired. You shouldn't be stressed out. I mean, if, you, if it's okay, if, it's, if you are stressed from work and now you can like uh, um, switch off a little bit mentally and focus on your training, that's fine. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, feel really tired, like feel this, uh, this body uh, tiredness or something, you know, some, some sore muscles or something. Um, you know just make sure you are fresh and you you're looking forward to your training you know so uh, that's very important because once you are not fresh you're not going to get better you, you it will just get worse you will get more tired and you will not develop uh, the endurance uh, probably and also not that much technique or anything you want to you want to improve on just because you are you are tired and your body is too much stressed so think about that and one more thing mileage syndrome you know many people believe that the, the more you run the better well it depends right if you if you if you have a time you want to reach and then you just go for a mileage mileage but you don't actually run a lot in the zone you want to run in during your race then uh, you know you will not get much better either so you should always think about you know what kind of uh, what kind of speed or pace you should train in order to be able to train or sorry to race in that in that zone during the race or or in that pace so i believe actually and it is true that it's it's really important to to pace yourself during training and to know what you're training for you know what kind of pace what what kind of time etc etc so i have Two more points guys i'm not going to share with uh, these two points uh, with you here on this uh, video just go to my blog post the link is actually below this video just go to this link check out my blog post and the tips i just shared with you this these are not my tips that, that's actually uh, tips from a very famous coach you might uh, 
be curious uh, who that is. I will re reveal it in my blog post as well, or you just read it in the description of this video. I hope you find this useful, and I'll be back with another video soon, guys. I love you, I appreciate you, and uh, good luck with your training. Ciao, ciao.